Hey guys, Excalibur here, and today we're going to be going over the 45mm submachine gun inside Fallout 76, otherwise known as a Tommy. So, I like this gun. It's one of my favorites. Um, the only thing that I can really say that's a big giant negative about it is getting the modifications for it is a bit of a pain. And what I mean by that is I still don't have them, and I don't know how many of these I've actually torn down, but I'll tell you, it's a lot. Um, other than that, it's amazing. I like it over the uh, 10 millimeter submachine gun because that weapon doesn't have a suppressor, where this one does. Unfortunately, it's outdone by the 10 millimeter submachine gun just because, well, it's quite a bit easier to get mods for the 10 millimeter submachine gun than it is for this weapon. For some reason, even when you tear the other ones down, you really just don't get a lot. Like, the odds of getting it are bad, and then you just don't get that many of them. At least in my personal experience. I'm not saying someone else hasn't, but personally, I just don't have any luck with it. So, we're going to be doing a spotlight over this today. And then on the 26th of September, I'm going to be giving it, along with a lot of other things, away on Twitch Live. In-game items only, PC only, can't be helped. Only requirements are that you're on PC and that you're following on Twitch. Nothing else. So, that's it. Um, but yeah, number of things that we're going to be giving away for sure is this ten, uh, this uh, forty-five millimeter submachine gun, and I know for sure that there is going to be a bloodied explosive. Yeah, bloodied explosive, handmade. That's going to be given away as well on the twenty-sixth of September. So don't miss out. Be there. Okay, so I want to do a couple of shout-outs real fast. To Andy Angry and the Crimson Caravan Company for having one of the most amazing trading discords I've ever seen. And on top of that, they donated a few of the items that we're going to be giving away on the 26th. So, I want to shout them out. And I want to shout out Rambling Paul for giving, oh, giving me a few of the items that we're going to be donating as well on the 26th. Also, in the background here... You see my base? Yeah, I didn't build that. I'm not that good. So, the person that did, their name is Nib, and I'm going to put a link to their Discord into the description for you to go check out. Nib builds custom bases for people at a price. Nib was nice enough to build this base for me for free. And many others, to be completely honest with you. Because, like I said, I'm not that good at base building. I'm just not that creative. I wish I was. So, I'll put the link to Nib's Discord in to the description. I'm going to attempt to try to say the name of it, but I'm going to butcher it. Nib Bib wins world. I'm sorry. I, I'm trying. So, without further ado, guys, let's get on to the video. Okay, guys. So, here is the Bloody Explosive submachine gun. So, um, right now... So let me show you what I mean by don't have a lot of attachments. Yeah, they got the prime one, which isn't gonna do us. Like I know it says it jumps a lot, but like considering how expensive those bolts are, and yes, I'm guessing that would be more in line with what the prime receiver would do. If I had the stuff to make it, I probably would, but like it uses violet flux and crimson, and I don't have a lot of that. So yeah, all right. As far as the uh, barrel, the only one I have unlocked is the one we're going with, which is the short light barrel. As far as the uh, stock goes, we have the recon um, stock on it, which is, looks like it's slightly better, so we're going to stick with that. Uh, we have the large drum, large quick eject drum, and the medium uh, magazine. We're going to stick with what's on it. We have the glow sights, reflex sights, and standard sights. We're going to stick with the reflex sights. And we have a suppressor as our last attachment. And yeah, we have the, we have the muzzle brake and the uh, compressor. We're not going to go with either one of those. We're going to stick with the suppressor. 
We're doing 185 damage at the moment. Now, yeah, no. Here are the perk cards that we're going to be going with. This is a standard commando sneak, a stealth build that uses Vats crits. Now, I do do one thing different than most. I use um, Four Leaf Clover along with uh, Critical Savvy. The difference with my build is I'm going full into all of them instead of using Bloody Mess. Now, the reason that I do this is because most times I'm in a group with another commando build that can share bloody mess and I share critical savvy so that's the reason I usually do that alright but as far as today goes that's what we're gonna be doing and um let's get you some gameplay okay here we are at West Tech so let's uh, show you my mutations real quick those are the mutations we we're using and just so you know I do have one unfortunate mutation of the day which is I don't see it actually where did that go huh so normally I run the mutation herd mentality but it appears that I don't have it on this character well I guess that's a good thing for today but that's gonna have to change later um, so I, I guess we don't have those negatives all right um, but yeah, here are our mutations. We are under nerd rage threshold. So yeah, and this is just food. It's not really gonna do anything for us. I guess the max AP may help a little, but I usually that's that's not an on purpose thing. It's just I ate some food. Um, and as far as our uh, armor goes, we're using unyielding. It is on Yielding Sentinel, but that does not matter because we are going to be completely bypassing that by sneaking. So, Sentinel doesn't work while you're crouched. So, yeah. You can do this with normal on Yielding. To be honest with you, you'd probably be better off with Unyielding plus one perception. Um, so, yeah. This is just some random Unyielding Sentinel that I acquired in a trade. It's okay, but you can do without it. So, let's go. So it looks like I'm going to be redoing this entire video because, oh no, never mind. You know, let's find a different... Mm. I am well, yeah, spawns. Strongest super Makes me mutant. not want to do it here, but... We'll just keep it up for a second. If we get inside and there's no spawns, then I'm going to change settings. But hopefully we get spawns. So, yeah, like between 500 to, uh, yeah. So, not bad. And I wish Bethesda would fix that little bug with uh, energy weapons. I have a few nice energy weapons myself. 670. It's not a lot of spawns. We'll see. I might just have to go to a couple more places. Usually my method of grabbing the first few works, but every now and again you get grab a board instead of like usually if you grab the first two you get ammo and caps, and that's the reason why I usually do that. But uh, apparently not at the moment. So if we get inside and there's nothing, well then I guess we're gonna have to swap servers because like I'm seeing a lot of goo piles here, which leads me to believe that there's not gonna be anything in here. So. Yeah. Ooh. 
Well, boys, I guess I was wrong. Wait, yep. There we go. Anything good? I mean, it's okay, but it's level 40. Ah. Uh, yes! My fault, not the weapon's fault. But, as you can see though, it's not having any problems saving my bacon. Um, so we're at 60% adrenaline. And 259. That's not amazing. Um, if we compare it to, say, a handmade. That's we a made here, but uh, you die here. But I don't think I have my do I have my 10 mil sub on me. That's more something we should really. I guarantee we're falling off now though. Yeah, we are. Okay, so let's get it back I up again. And we'll look. Again. Let's see. Uh, let's make sure we have that favorited, so it'll be easier. Another three star. This is a good run. Uh, like so. the fact that that one was level um, 40. 45, but it's stalkers. And I'm overweight. Come out, come out, wherever you are. There we go. The really nice thing about this is though, like it does less damage, sure, than the handmade, but at the moment. A lot of that has to do with, like I said, the fact that we're on a standard receiver. But it has um, a great advantage. It holds 62 rounds with uh, the quick eject drum, so. That's. That's incredibly nice. Because my handmade at the moment only holds uh, 35, so after the nerf to it, yeah. Uh, I saw another legendary two star, but still. Sadly, that's script. But, oh well. Okay, so we're at 60% again. Yes, we are. So, the 10 mil sub, 326, but it doesn't have a suppressor. Whereas, 259. But this has a suppressor, so that's a major advantage. And once again, I'm just saying, like, I wish this could be, I wish it was easier to upgrade this, but it is what it is. I don't feel like going back up into that room for these guys, so. <laughs> Might as well clear the spawns, that way the next person doesn't have to deal with it. I'm actually surprised this ended up being a good run, but... Legendaries, even low levels, are good at this point, so... Because there's scripts, so... I 
And this thing has zero issues clearing it. Open. Yeah, that was more, I, I keep laying off the trigger, because I'm used to the handmade, and, uh, yeah. I've wasted a lot of bullets, let's just say that. By not laying off of the trigger. Just a few more, I think, are left alive in here. You know... I do wish they'd change that about vats. Maybe we should try non-headshots. Headshots are always satisfying to me. That's the reason I like them, but... Guess we're getting the seven eight hundreds there. Uh, high seven hundreds, almost eight hundred. If I was in a group right now, I'd say this would probably be doing around eight hundred because of uh, strange numbers. So yeah, okay. Um, is it the end all be all? New. No. But, uh, it is, a, it is a nice, nice weapon. So, what we're going to do is, um, let's go kill Swan. Yeah, the behemoth. Don't know how this is going to do, but, uh, I want to find out. On second thought, let's run White Springs real fast. Then we'll go kill Swan. Whoa, they're already out and about. Well. I was wanting to demonstrate stealth capabilities, but, uh... I guess we're gonna go with, uh, its ability to, uh, get me out of sticky situations. days the stealth just doesn't work and I don't know why that is especially lately <sighs> Bethesda please hear me fix this why are there? Why has this not been fixed? Well, at least they no longer am aware of my existence.
So, I can't really fault the gun for that either. It's more just like... I didn't notice it. And that's my bad. I haven't run White Springs in a little while. And no, we will not be going to the nuke. Because... Quite frankly... Don't really care that much. Um, about the nuke, that is. Um, so, now... Now we're gonna go kill Swan. Okay, let's go. There he is. Oh, oh. Unfortunately, he realized I was here. Didn't think he uh, had that big aggro distance, but I guess so. Still chewed through him quite a bit faster than I thought. Like, I'm impressed for what it is. I am impressed. Okay, um. Yeah, 10 millimeter sub. I mean, 10. I've done that about 20 times and removed it. Um, not gonna remove this one. Submachine gun. Bloody submachine gun. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go try and shoot down a scorch piece with this. Cause that's a real test, right? Like, they're 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 amazingly annoying to take out of the air. So, let's go do that. Okay, we've got one. <clears throat> Landing on top of me, not good. There we go. So, you dead. Not not horrible. It isn't the most amazing gun I've used, but I've used most of them in the game at this point. But, to be honest with you, this is an amazing gun. For what it is, it's it's great. Like, it is a good either offhand, uh, offhand, um, oh, alright, bonus. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, maybe in trouble here. Or not. The main thing with this is it desperately needs the upgrade. So I really hope that the person that ends up with this has it or can get it because it will help it so much. As it stands right now, it is a great secondary and an amazing starter. If you can get a hold of the mods, it's gonna be something else. So, I really do hope this finds a good home. And, uh, well, we'll see you on the 26th, guys. Um, I really hope a lot of you show up. I hope we get a good out. Um, I hope we get a lot of people to come in and I hope I'm able to give away all of these. So, I hope you guys have a good day. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like subscribe thumbs up well obviously like anyway peace